Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, it's another healthy living series video and in this video, I'll be showing you some of my favorite breakfast meals over the weekend. Let's get started. Now the first option is one of my favorites over the weekend. This is what I like to call my oats delight. So I'll take half a cup of oats, rolled oats, as you know, I love rolled oats. And then to the dish, I add some cinnamon, a little bit of fruit to the dish, which is banana. And then of course I make my oats with some almond breeze, unsweetened almond milk. I love this stuff, okay? So because I'm a little bit extra, I decided to add a little bit more uh, condiments and fruits to the dish. So I've got some strawberries here, uh, bananas of course, and almond flakes, which I love. Recently, I love them. So I cooked up my oats and while it was cooking with the almond milk, I added some cranberries to that as well. It is so good, so good. Now my favorite time, my favorite time plating up my oats. So of course I plate, I made a little bit more than I normally do because uh, my friend was over that weekend. So I plated over some of the oats and oh my gosh, it was smelling so good. Like with the cranberries. What? <laughs> then I came through with the best part, like literally decorating my plate. So I put on some of the strawberries on there also added the bananas as well like look at the color it's just like a nice pop of color makes it look really really pretty added the bananas over there as well and I normally put the bananas to the side it's it's a habit I don't know why I do it it's weird okay whatever don't judge me and then after that I added the almond flakes I mean ta-da doesn't that look so pretty and then to finish things off, of course, I love to add more milk to my oats. I mean, it looks a tad bit dry when you look at it like that, right? So I just add my milk on the outer rim of the oats just a little bit. And then after I add the milk, the final, final ingredient is the cinnamon. It just makes it so good. So the cinnamon, flavor of cinnamon, <laughs> shall follow. And yeah, that's pretty much the final touch to my dish. And that, dearest friends, is my delicious oats delight. You should try it out. Like, guys, it's so good. It's so good. Now, number two is a love for everybody who loves avocado and sriracha. This is what I call my sriracha power dish. And this is one of my favorite sriracha sauces. You can get it at Pick and Pay. It's really good. One egg one low gi bread and half an avocado that's literally all you need all you need okay let's get started okay so i'm pretty sure we all know how to do an egg and to cut up some avocado right also toast up the bread so this is low gi bread and i've toasted it up already and now i'm adding the avocado onto the bread all of it please don't waste avocado is life okay and then i crush the avocado on the bread that's all i do i just sort of spread it out all over the bread so it reaches all the corners because i don't like dry toast without any avocado no 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 now this is a step that everybody misses black pepper gives so much so much flavor i add the black pepper onto the avocado and then of course i will follow with a little bit of salt this black pepper and salt set is available at woolworths that's some pink salt just a little bit flavor i mean it must taste good and then i add my medium cooked egg or is that soft i don't know onto the plate on top of the avocado and the toast and just it's so pretty <laughs> And then we add the star of the show. This is the sriracha. This has a little bit of a tomato flavoring to it as well, but it's hot. It's still sriracha. And I add a little bit of that onto the plate and I'm pretty much done. Now, this looked so good when I was preparing it. I just, I really wanted to just sort of like dive in already and eat it. So yeah, I put the fork and the plate and the knife there, but then I thought, now I want to eat this thing. So I kind of did. I kind of did. <laughs> See ya. See ya. 
Now, the third option is if you do not want to prepare anything. You just want something that's going to take you literally five minutes to prepare. This is what I call my smoothie boost. I have some baby spinach, as you saw, and I have some acai powder. That's the purple powder stuff that's on your left. And the chia seeds as well. I just decanted them and put them in on plates and of course some ice because we are making a smoothie this is when you just want to dash and go right and liquid to the smoothie is the almond breeze of course yet again this is what we always use and a little bit of the banana which which is pretty much sticking out on the bottom right hand side you see that right okay let's get started now as you can see i've got my nutri bullet ready to go setting things up as we go along first thing i add to the nutri bullet is my baby spinach i love baby spinach baby spinach seems to taste a little bit much more better than the swiss chard for me baby spinach is perfect for smoothies so i add that a generous amount of that spinach into the nutri bullet container and then from there i added some of the chia seeds i realized that that was just way too many chia seeds for me for a smoothie okay so i just cut that out but i added a little bit of the chia seeds to the container from there, I followed with the acai powder. I love to add the acai powder a little bit to uh, my green smoothies. It doesn't really change the color of the smoothie, okay? It's just got really, really great health properties and benefits. From there, just to make the smoothie nice and sweet, I decided to add a banana. I always add a banana. Bananas are life. They're like avocados. I do not understand people who do not like bananas and avocados. Y'all are weird, okay? y'all are weird so i add a little bit of that and then i clean up my station because i'm made like that <laughs> then i will follow with the ice of course and then almond milk is your best friend i'm adding the almond milk to the dish of course to the dish to the smoothie because you need a little bit of liquid you cannot blend without a liquid so i love to use almond uh, milk you can use coconut water coconut milk normal milk it's really all up to you oat milk is also good as well with this but yeah i add that to my neutral bullet and i get ready to blend this is where i just start to take out my anger and my rage nothing feels good like blending okay three two one Batate! there we go <laughs> And then there you have it. As I said, I had a friend over that weekend. Of course, there must be now two glasses for smoothies. And I then added the smoothie into the glass. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Beautiful. Well, trust Katleo to pour a little bit of the smoothie on the glass and just aesthetics, girl. Aesthetics. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. But yeah, came through and tidied that up. I mean for photo sake but and wrinkles <laughs> topped it off with some of those chia seeds again because why not chia seeds are really really great in terms of protein and all those other things google it they're really really good um and those are my green smoothies delicious <laughs> And there you have it. Those are my three weekend breakfast meal ideas. I forgot to take shots of the avocado and toast. Forgive me for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more of these, let me know. But until then, I'll see you in the next one.